we started the channel on Cakewalk, which was a Catalina 42. Love that boat. Still kind of miss her, but that was back in the days when we weren't living on a boat. And do you remember we actually had jobs in a house? And now we have Isabella. And that's all we have because we sold our house, we quit our jobs, and here we are. And gotta say, no regrets. I seem to remember some Disney movie, Beauty and the Beast. More on that later. These iguanas look like dinosaurs to me. Just picked up some items Karen and I ordered. And while we're here, our new teak stool. And uh, it replaces an old beat up one we had that was coming apart. We actually use this in the cockpit as the uh, captain's chair. And this is a tall one so everybody can see over the uh, foredeck easier. And what did we order? These shiny lights here. We're into uh, lighting technology. <laughs> so originally, uh, you know, we wanted it to be brighter in here and it had one of these stainless puck lights and we bought another one and installed it and it is bright in here. Of course, it's daytime now. And, hello. Hello. We have uh, these others, that, that's card stock. We kind of use as a, what is it, a shield or something? Mm -hmm. uh, you know, it's to keep it from kind of glaring uh, I guess, you know, at night you're wanting some nice mood lighting or something. Uh, these are around 3000 Kelvin, the two I've shown, which is a warm white, which is pleasing to the eye. And then over the nav station, you know, it's a bright white, it's probably 5,000 Kelvin, 5,500, and the same with the light over the panel. So the issue's been at night when, uh, hello again, <laughs> at night uh, when we're sitting in here and maybe if we have some friends over, uh, these four lights, uh, you know, uh, they're great, but it's still a little bit dim. So, these lights are bright, but a little bit harsh if you're kind of staring around. So, we purchased these kind of futuristic looking disc lights. They, they're adjust, they're dimmable, and Apparently they claim they're adjustable from 3000 Kelvin warm white to 5000 Kelvin kind of a daylight type color. Although as I recall daylight is around 5500 Kelvin the color temperature. Don't quote me on that. So we're going to put these two where these two are. And then one of these we're going to put on the ceiling in the VIP head. Steve, it's kind of like the revolving toilets. <laughs> hey, now wait a minute. A uh, little I'm, bit easier. I'm, I'm not obsessed. I'm not obsessed. I'm not obsessed. Well, <laughs> the jury's out on that one. <laughs> <laughs> and here they are. My new bra. What do you think? Funny. 
they're super lightweight, you know, they're and kind of modern, and kind of remind me of like Star Trek, you know? Beam me up, Scotty. So here's what I'm talking about. I know we're close. Boom. Of course, this one does red also. Cool. But they're history. They're out of here. They're yesterday's news. Well, they're not totally out of here. One will be located somewhere else. Uh-huh. Uh, are you going to tell me where to stick it? Yeah. Where'd you go? Ah, uh, well, I went to get my drill to undo those little screws, but then I decided to do it the old-fashioned way. Ah. Oh, 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 I should have gotten my drill. There's one banana. Two bananas. I don't even know what that means. Oh, it's getting loose. Uh -oh. Did you lose a screw? <laughs> Wait, does that mean you have a screw loose? I do. Good thing that baby's not on. I can blind it. Whoa. <laughs> Let's see. There it is. <clears throat> Thank you. Karen went to get the snippers and the strippers. You gonna strip for me, baby? Yeah, I will. You better turn that camera off first. Man, I got these new crescent snippers here. They work great. My other ones had such a dull blade. Bam. Look at that. Nice uh, tinned marine grade wiring, no doubt it's anchor. Karen's taking the old one down, obviously. I love watching Karen stretch out. And not only are they dimmable, but they have this nice blue ambiance. They're going to be so much better. And last but not least... There we go. Cool. Then they give you these cute little cappy things. Hooray, the boring light installation segment is over. Or is it? Bye bye, baby. So, where'd the other um, puck light end up? But here's the VIP uh, cabin. And here's, of course, the head. I believe this is the third toilet we had in the head, but it now has the nice uh, quiet flush. And that's where the 
puck light ended up. We didn't have anything on the ceiling. Got these two kind of accordion <laughs> lights, their own. This one has a nice red light. If you want to leave it on at night. There we go. What a bright light. The fit and finish in this Mikado, uh, which is a CNSO boat, is uh, generally really good. There's African mahogany and teak in here. And we've done, made quite a few improvements on it. Uh, replacing faucets, uh, lighting fixtures, Cushions. Cushions. Modernizing the galley. One of the things I really liked when we saw this boat was the nav area and how you have a, a desk, an actual desk over there. Um, now we've got our new uh, teak stool in front of it and it gets kind of cluttered. But um, I really love the way that wood looks. Originally when we bought the boat she had a carpet on the floor and Steve got all that up and then we have this current flooring. Not sure, pretty much it's not going to be the end result but it has cleaned up the boat quite a bit and it's very easy to clean. Y'all have already seen some of the galley improvements we've done, and here's what we're working on today. Wait for me. <laughs> this is our hallway with our back crew and two cabins. And somebody painted over some wood which you know people do like to do but we like exposed wood so we've been taking the paint off and we're going to try to get this all off and have the nice uh, natural wood look here and we have three cabins opening into the hall we do one is a crew got my trusty heat gun and I think I'm going to remove this white here. My favorite putty knife. It's small, but packs a wallop. Listen. All right. Just don't burn the boat down. Heat gun's hot. Well, I just get as much off as I can at the heat gun. Now I take some 80 grit, basically. Get the rest off. Of course, I smooth it later. It's 220. And, uh... Comes off pretty well. Trying not to make runs. It's looking good. Yeah, you did a great job sanding, getting this all off. As you are applying the poly. Thank you. I'm a polyer. 
That mean you're polyamorous? <laughs> Nasty. What are you doing? Give me something to screw, baby. I'll give you something to screw. Let me show you. Just follow me. See this little hole here? Something needs to be screwed in there, Steve. I have a little teak plug here. I don't know if you can see it, but it's three eighths, and the hole's a little, a uh, little bit less diameter. So I'm gonna drill it out to three eighths, and there's something behind it. So I put a little bit of blue tape on here because I only want to drill in this far. I'm gonna put it on two. There we go. Tight fit. Yes. May not even need glue on this baby. Should fit. Okay, just tap it in now. Trusty piece of wood. Try to go ahead and. Oh, there we go. Yeah, thanks for plugging my hole with your wood. I'm so sick of doing DIY. It was flipping me out. <laughs>